if I walk up to this integral and I ask myself, is it algebra trig or a mixture of stuff? This is just trig. So my two things that I might be thinking about, I'm gonna check really quick if it's a U substitution. And at first it looked promising because I'm thinking the derivative of sine is cosine and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. But the problem is that those angles don't match. That cosine of three X, or sorry, the cosine of X versus the sine of three X. If I were to let U be equal to sine of three X, for example, then du would be three cosine of x, cosine three x dx. And I don't have that three x inside of the cosine. Well, the next thing that we might think about is using a trig identity. And I have no doubt that there's some trig identity that turns this into something else. But it's not actually a trig identity that I have memorized. Luckily, this problem on Kuma's practice exam actually gave us the hint that we should use integration by parts. So, um, we have a choice because we have trig and some more trig. So if we're trying to use our acronym late to choose U, they're both T, so it's a toss up. I'm gonna arbitrarily choose to let U equal, sine of 3x, which means the dv would have to be everything else, the cosine x dx. When I integrate sine of 3x, I'm going to get 3 cosine of 3x dx. And when I take the antiderivative of cosine of x, the function whose derivative is cosine, well, that's sine of x. Putting these together in our integration by parts formula, I know that I need a u times a v minus v du, and that second part is going to be integrated. So I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna need the space. So I'll have u times v, or, sine of 3x times sine of x minus the integral of v du, sine 3x times 3 cosine 3x dx. So I'm going to stick my 3 out in front and we'll have cosine 3x sine of x dx. Well, it doesn't really look like we got anywhere by doing that is now I still have two trig functions. There still isn't a U substitution for me. So at this point, I'm kind of thinking, oh, this is one of those ones that loops back on itself. It's only gonna loop back on itself if I can get this cosine of three X to turn back into a sine of three X kind of thing. So. I'm going to come off to the side here. Now, there's a subtlety. I don't want to undo what I just did. So again, I'm having to choose one of these parts to be u and the other part to be dv. But if I make the wrong choice, I'm just going to exactly go backwards from what we just did. The only way to not make that mistake is to keep the u the part where the angle was 3x. So now my u will become cosine of 3x, and my dv will be the sine of x dx. I think this is gonna work, and if it doesn't, we'll have to do it the other way. So when I take, when I find my du, derivative of cosine is negative sine, so I'll have negative three sine three x dx. And when I integrate sine of x, the function whose derivative is positive sine is negative cosine. So my v would be negative cosine of x. Now I'm gonna put that all together. 
So I've got my sine of 3x times sine of x minus 3. And then we're replacing this integral with u times v minus v du. So u times v, so I'll have negative cosine 3x cosine x minus the integral of v du. Well, that minus and that minus are going to cancel out. So I'll have 3 sine 3x cosine x dx. And now is the part where we look at this and say, this is what we were trying to find in the first place. It's actually secretly what's sitting over here on the left-hand side of the integral. So I'm going to want to distribute that minus 3 through, take this whole piece, move it to the other side. I think I can try to squeeze it in. We'll see how I do. So I've got sine 3x sine of x minus and minus will make that plus 3 cosine 3x cosine x. That negative 3 times another negative 3 would be plus 9 sine 3x cosine x dx, which means I'm going to subtract nine of these to the other side as sine 3x cosine x dx. And then we worked some integration by parts magic, and we got this part here in the box. The sine 3x sine of x plus 3 cosine 3x cosine x plus 9 times the integral of sine of 3x cosine x dx. When we get to this point in the integration by parts, we have exactly this same integral that we started with show up again. So our trick is to actually subtract nine copies of that integral. So nine times sine three x cosine x dx. Let me get more of this out of the way. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. Well, that means that on the right hand side, these are gone. And I've got sine 3x sine of x plus 3 cosine 3x cosine of x. And on the left hand side, I had one of these minus nine of the same thing, which means I'll end up with negative eight of these integrals, sine three x, cosine x, dx. And to get back to just what we want, I'm gonna divide both sides by negative eight. Plus C. 